Welcome back, citizens. We'd like to thank all of our patrons and channel members. Thank you so much for your support. If you enjoy our content, please consider hitting that subscribe button to help the channel grow. In today's episode, I will go over how to mine with the MISC Prospector, my laser and module choices, refining, transport, and sale of materials, and that episode starts right now. All right, welcome to pad one of Hurl one or Green Glade Station. This is my mining base of operations. And we're gonna head out here to the prospector. Fist has done a great job at doing a review of this, but this video is actually a tutorial on how to use it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start over here with the mining laser and uh, modules and talk about them. My laser of choice is the Lancet. Even though it has a weaker than average beam, it safely heats deposit to reduce the resistance and instability. Uh, with these modules, I found it the most stable uh, to mine with and the easiest to use. The first module that I have here is the Surge module. It combines with the mining laser to deliver an instantaneous burst of power that immediately fills part of the current arch window. Unfortunately, it destabilizes the rock, increasing shatter damage and catastrophic charge rates, making it dangerous to mine with. So watch your charge window and get ready to throttle back the laser quickly. Only use it when you need to, since you only have five charges. And when they're gone, they're gone, and the module needs to be replaced. The next module is the optimum module. This module makes mining safer by increasing the optimal charge window for 20 seconds. This allows the laser to pump a deposit with more power before it crosses into the catastrophic danger pool. This is helpful when mining quantanium and other valuable minerals that have small optimal charge windows. But you only have five charges, and when they're gone, they're gone, and the module needs to be replaced. The last module down here is the Stampede module. You can increase your overall mining speed by activating the Stampede, which produces a pulse that immediately increases the deposit's charge rate by 125% for 60 seconds. This is nice to pair with the Optimum to extract minerals faster before that 20 second window closes. So, let's go ahead and get aboard and go find something to mine. Before we get there, I want to go over what to mine. The mineables in green should always be mined from 2.5% and up. Mine Hephaestonite from 10% and up, and Titanium from 20% and up. Try to only mine Diamonds, Gold, and Copper from 35% and up. Ignore the mineables in red, unless one of the criteria I just mentioned is met. With all of these, make sure to only pick up chunks with very low shares of inert material, if possible. All right, welcome back. I am over Yela right now. Sometimes you have to travel a little bit to get the good stuff. And I have heard that there's some pretty good mineables here. So what you want to do is you want to get low. And I try and look for some of the mountainous areas. Uh, some off to the right there. And you want to, what you want to do is start your ping and fly around and look for mineables. We have a couple there. I'm going to go check those out. Go check those out here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly around a little bit and find some good mineables for us. And I will bring you back at that point. So again, mining is a lot of flying around and looking for the right deposit so you can make the most money. All right, I think I found something down here. I like looking for more than one rock. Mine, because it raises your chances of finding something good. Also, mining in this system is really picturesque. Look at Crusader, God, that's beautiful. All right, time to go to work. Let's head on down here and see what we got. All right, we've got a couple rocks here. What I try and do is come down at about a 45 degree angle 
And that's just in case I need to back up real quick. I don't want to run into anything. So let's look at this big rock first. Take out our mining laser. Yeah, we got something there. It's 5,500. We got tungsten, copper, diamond. Really, none of those are meet the criteria of what we're talking about. Now we're talking. We got a bunch of grisium. We got some laronite, and they're all above percentage. Laronite's down there at 2%, but still, it's pretty good. It also has a low amount of inertia. So, yeah, let's go ahead and mine this rock. So, if you notice in the top left-hand corner, that yellow bar that's creeping up, that is our effective range for our laser. I found that this laser is right around 50 meters or so, and that's where it takes it into the optimum range. On the right-hand side, you can see the um, the materials that we have here. So, and there is just a little tiny sliver of the optimal window. So we're definitely going to be using our optimal module. Go ahead and fire up our laser. It, it rocks only 3,700 pounds. You can notice that on the right-hand side as well. I do like to turn down my limiter so I don't crash into anything, so I can make very small adjustments. Right now we're at 40 meters. Sometimes you need to kind of go around the rock a little bit to get the right angle and raise that charge level. Right now my laser intensity is at 100%. So if you need to, you can creep forward a little bit it, I'm doing just fine right here at 40 meters. It's creeping up there. And let's see how that does. I'm going to back it off a little bit. I'm going to hit that optimum. And what that does is makes that optimum window much bigger. And I am going to also do my extraction so I can extract faster. And that 20 seconds goes off of quick. But we cracked. So we didn't have to use that surge because it was a small enough rock. So now what do we have here? We have a grisium. Whoop. No, we have copper and laronite. So yeah, let's go ahead and collect this. So I'm gonna go ahead and break this rock up. Still has that 60 seconds going there on that, making that optimum window bigger. But yeah, that that time will go up here shortly. I just want to creep up to it carefully. And yeah, there we go. So we really don't need to use that um, that module again because this is a small rock, and there's a big optimum window, and it keeps us right in there just fine. So what you do is you move back and forth with your mouse wheel. I actually have a, a, a thumb um, device here on the on my HOTAS that HOTAS that I can um, adjust the laser with, and I find it more precise. So let's see what do we got here. So we got a bunch of copper. Copper is pretty good price for being in yellow. And let's see, got some Laronite, that 4%, not too bad. And let's see, what do we got here? We got more copper and we got some Laronite. Um, this piece down here, I think we already looked at this one. Uh, yeah, but not much copper there. So let's take a look at this last rock down here and see what we have. We got a bunch of copper and some Laronite. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to extraction mode and I am going to extract the uh, minerals there. If you notice in the right hand corner there, it shows what we've already picked up. So this is going to hit creeping up here. Got a bunch of copper. 
Again, I'm just trying to pick up stuff with low amounts of inert in it. Let's see what this one is. Yeah, it's got a bunch of copper here. So I can go ahead and take this. All right. Let's see what's in these other rocks. Corundium there. Okay. That's down there in the red. We don't want that. Got a bunch of agrisium here. So, um, we definitely want that rock. What's under it? <laughs> bunch, uh, as well. So, um, how about this one here? Yeah, those are high amounts of grist. Probably should have looked around a little bit further before I did that. But I wanted to show you how that extract works. That's the nerf. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go back over to mining mode. And I have that down nice and low. And let's see if I can do it without the optimum. Since this is a nice stable laser, I... Creeping up carefully, creeping up carefully. And I'm using the thumb dial on my Hotas. Backing off now. So, and up there. Let's see if I can do it without using any modules. Just barely in there now, backing it off. I want to keep it right in that green. And it is, ew. You are able to do this, especially with this lancet that is a nice, steady laser. So, yeah, it. But I can go ahead and use the optimum module. And we'll go ahead and get into there. Come on, up again, up again. Right, so that's, that's that. And I'll go ahead and use the extraction. Get it up there a little quicker. Okay. Well, let's see. I'm having a little bit of issue here. It's filling up nice and fast. You want to stay out of the red when you're using this module, though. Because it'll fill up that red real quick. So, yeah, this is just going up nice. And there it is. Okay, we want to get that rock underneath it as well. up there fire another optimum and do the quick extraction again with the stampede and hopefully that'll get up there come on okay watch that stampede don't go into the red with the stampede whatever you do do not go into the red with the stampede so yeah here we go Going pretty quick. Going pretty quick. Don't get into that red. All right, and there it is. Hey, a little touchy there with that small window, and that 20 seconds with the optimum module goes pretty darn quick. So let's get some of this picked up here. Let's see what we got. 100% agrisium. That is some money right there. And this one here is. That was 100% inert. Anything. Um, oh, bunch of grissy in there, too. 94%. Pretty soon, the grissy is going to overtake the inert. What you want. That's inert materials. Do not pick that up. Do not pick that up. What do we got here? 100% grissy. Yeah, we definitely want to pick that up. And look at that. I am picking up some good stuff here. Right. Next one here is... What do we got? 100% of risk. Yeah, I probably should have started with these rock, huh? Okay, what do we got here? Hundred percent of Grissium. Right. We are filling up nicely with good stuff. And 
down here. What do we got? We have Iron Knight Agrissian. I mean, can't complain about that. And there's no inert there at all. There is very, 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 very. Good. Okay, do we have anything else here? I think that that is all for those. What's this guy? 100% inert. Yeah, you don't even want. Don't even touch that unless you want to practice your mining skill. Rundium. Lair night. Yeah, it's gonna increase our amount of um inert, but that Lair Knight's worth some good money. So. And let's pick up this top here. So. Alright, our cargo is full. What I'm gonna do now is turn off my laser and I'm gonna head on back to the refinery. And I will see you when we get there. didn't get to use the surge module since the rock we mined was small enough for the lancet to handle without any issue but i do have a cut here of when i did use it to a much bigger rock just to show you how that works let's see if we can do it here. and i'm going to go ahead and fire my surge see if that'll even bring us into it Yeah, it's bringing us up. It is bringing us up here. So let's go ahead and go get a little closer. Do it again. This is a big rock. This is 70 uh, to 38 kilos. So a little over 7,000. So I'm going to go ahead and fire it again. Yeah, but get ready to Yeah, go ahead, get ready to crank that down. Okay. Now see it went into the red, but I was able to uh keep it um out by turning off the laser real quick and then going back full throttle to keep it the green here. See it, it the optimal or the um green charge window is increasing and pop. All right, so they say the Lancet is low on power, but I think not. Before we get to the refinery, I want to go over the different refining processes. When looking at yield efficiency, you want to find something that is highly efficient. Get as much ore out of your load as possible. Job duration is how long it will take to finish processing. This really doesn't matter to me because I usually have many jobs in the refinery at any one time. And when I am done mining for the day, I have enough processed ore to take a large load to the trade development division. Finally, the cost. Well, you've got to spend money to make money. I want to make as much money as I can, so I look at the lowest cost available until I can refine my own ore. With all these factors in mind, I like to use Dink Solventation. I don't mind waiting the extra time to get the highest yield at the lowest cost and stack jobs to make the trip to the trade development division as profitable as possible. All right, welcome to the refinery. And I'll Please take you on over to where you go ahead and get your load uh, process. And but before that, I wanna just take you inside real quick here and I'm gonna show you inside the little store. So the mining support center, um, they sell lasers, um and consumables and such right here so a lot of people had trouble finding out um where the laser is because it does not show it here you have to scroll with your wheel and then go to utility and then there you got your mining laser heads uh you got your mining modules here um yeah and then also you can buy a beacon undersuit or a pembroke uh, per, under personal weapons, 
there's the ore um, mining tool or the pyro mining tool and the uh, ore bit um, and then they got all sorts of different types of clothing you can get here as well so let's head on up to the refinery station itself it's upstairs right above the mining support center and we'll head on over to this terminal hey, back again, I see. and we'll go ahead and open it Finding everything all right. and we'll go ahead and hit begin and now to get the uh, order started you want to select your location you want to go for the prospector and you want to say set up work order and it brings all this up here and we want to refine all of this stuff make sure that you move each slider to refine okay and if we get a quote here for the cormac method you saw that earlier us $3,100 and it's done in 31 minutes so again I've used ding solventation down here and I can go ahead and get a quote for this yeah, it takes a day but it's half the price so I go ahead and do that all right I'm gonna hit confirm there and it's gonna start processing that order now I did have another order in here it didn't have that much good stuff in it um, has some basic stuff though um did that last night so i want i can like? go ahead and put that in a shop now down here it's storage options so if i go to put it in my titan it's in red it's too much stuff for that so i can't put it in there so um then i have my uh my caterpillar and that's just kind of a waste of a caterpillar right there so um, I'm going to go ahead and put it in my MSR and I'm going to go ahead and collect that and collect and now it's being transferred over to my MSR. I also have a cutty red here, but it was too much for that as well. So, um, yeah, you got kind of a view of the refinery here. There's a ladder to get down and in fact, I'm just going to take the ladder and I will see you guys at the trade development division on microtech because i want to get back to the ie all right welcome to the trade development division on microtech there are also trade development divisions on all of the other planets so you could go to the closest one to you usually i just head on down to hurston so let's hit go ahead and head on inside all right the reason why I'm here is because I'm also filming some footage here at the I-8. So, go ahead and touch the screen to get started. Okay, what we want to do is sell. And we want to go to select location. The only thing I have here is my MSR. And right here is going to be worth 11000 uh, almost 12,000 what you do and you can see that down here at the bottom under all of your materials the total commodity cargo value so I'm gonna go here to um, let's do tungsten first yeah 1600 so see you don't really want to pick up too much of that you see, got it and now let's see let's go up here to the aluminum that's even less so I am going to sell all of that. Because they don't use much aluminum now. The next one I will do is copper. I have one. <laughs> I barely had any copper in there. Basically, it'll kick you out. You just got to go back in. Got to go back here to sell. It'll take you right back to the screen you were at. So, yeah, I didn't have much copper in there at all. And got it and now let's go to the titanium uh made 2700 off of titanium so titanium is good to go after then you get into terranite this is one of the green ones i only have 24 units but i made 844 off of it. 
may not sound like much, but when you get a big load of it, like we got earlier, that'll really do it. And our last one is a Grissium. We only have 56 units of that. And I mean, 1500. Again, that doesn't seem like much, but the load that we just put in for processing, that's what we got. All right, so everything sold. And that's how to use that terminal there. And I'm just going to head on out and go join the um, festivities at the IAE or IE. And we'll see you in the verse. And happy mining.